let me come to the uh, you know Andre Agassi charitable foundation in Las Vegas, and uh, you know both of you all are in, in, into that. So, and from all accounts that I've read since I had to do the session, I was also reading on the work has been exemplary. So, just tell us a little bit of the background. What started? What are you, what's been the outreach? Where do you see it going ahead? Yeah, so so I did touch on it a little bit as to my motivation, why I felt like my lack of choice in life was a big deal. And when I saw a show in 60 Minutes that showed these kids who have no choice in their life because they didn't have an equal education, this was unconscionable to me. So I took out a big mortgage, a $40 million mortgage. I built my own charter school in the most poverty, uh, economically difficult area of Las Vegas, which is the fifth largest school district in America. You know, I have about 1,200 kids in the school. I have 3,000 on the waiting list. So through that process, and I think tennis combined, problem solving, I started to say, wait a second, I have more kids that need that need education than I'm providing for. So I felt like twice the failure. So I wanted to figure out how to scale it. And I got tired of waiting for government. I felt like philanthropy wasn't scalable. It's important and, and it's in especially if it's given at the right time in the right place in the right way, but I could, but we can still innovate as a society. So I took a societal daunting issue, which is the quality in education. And I went to the private sector and I said, don't give me your money invested. And what I can do with this is I can take it and I can build schools because I'm not an operator. I'm not a, I'm not an educator, but I'm a facilitator. I can build schools for, the best in class operators and the money from the state follows the child to the school, which means there's revenue on day one. You don't have to incubate over time. Now, instead of playing landlord through the taxes and bond market, we can write refinance them out a purchase yeah. ability to buy back this facility to satisfy a like-minded investor. Somebody that just wants a very small return, but wants to see huge social impact. So in the last 10 years through this model, uh, we've built over 120 schools across the country wow. in the most challenged areas. Now, through that process, I've realized that all these schools, they have one central source spot, and that is early childhood literacy and, and, and English second language learning. If we could figure out a way to cross that Rubicon quicker, the trajectory of these children's lives changes dramatically. So I went to Stanford and I met with a neuroscience specialist on how brains work and realized that we actually have the ability to understand how an individual's child's brains work. We just don't have a distribution vehicle that can actually send this out sort of through a technology-based um, you know, platform. So I put together this company called Square Panda and we're now actually, quite frankly, all throughout India getting into schools there as well that work with real-time PhD feedback on each individual's child's brain on how to learn English at a much faster rate. And in America, how to learn second-hand, second language English at a faster rate and how to, how to be literate at a faster rate. So I, I keep going from one school to all these schools to now millions of kids. So you ask me what my plans are. I don't make plans because I, 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 I just, I want to keep going. You know, I got a period of time here on this earth that I want to, I want to, I want to do the most I can for as many people as possible. And, and I feel like this has been a great outlet for me during this time. And this pandemic, quite frankly, has really highlighted, highlighted this issue, the digital divide. How many people in your country, how many people in our country don't even have access to the, to the, to the tablets, to the to the Wi-Fi, to the to the ability to learn at home. You know, this this is this is losing a generation, and 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 we can't let that happen.